Good morning, this is Dave here uh, from Oronica.com and one thing we're doing this morning, we're hacking our way through the jungle. Uh, we're going to collect rocks today because yesterday, frankly, we uh, we ran all day with the gold hog and uh, I started looking through the concentrates and I see absolutely nothing in there. Um, I'm still going to send them off to have them examined, but um, I don't see anything in there. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention while we were hiking out here, it's like I think it's 6.30 in the morning <laughs> right now. We're hiking out to the, the stream to try to find the source of these rocks. Um, one thing I wanted to show you when you're hiking through the jungle, uh, always make sure, like if you're going to slip, uh, if you slip going down a hill or something, to look before you grab something because if you can see that, you don't really want to grab this tree. Because believe me, those things will go. I kicked one with my boot and it went right through my boot. Um, I can't imagine what it would do to your hand. So uh, just be careful if you're hiking through the jungle. But we're almost at our target. And uh, today it's collecting rocks. This is Dave again from Oronica.com. And uh, one of the great things about being in Chantalis, Nicaragua. Um, this morning we've been out here looking at rocks and uh, I'll talk about that in a minute but the uh, the owner of the property came out and I wanted to show you this he brought us breakfast uh, beans and rice and some fried plantains and some fried cheese which the, the, the fried queso frito which is the name fried cheese is out of this world here because they they make it here from all the cows and the best part they brought me hot, hot coffee coffee cafe con leche um, coffee with milk and this isn't grocery store milk this is they just milk the cows <laughs> and and put the milk in the coffee and I have to say I was a little uh, uneasy about that but uh, before but once you taste it man you never want to drink your coffee any other way it's uh, it's awesome um, so uh, anyway a little bit of what I wanted to talk about we've been out here looking at rocks and back where we've been getting these really good signals, it, it seems to start up in that area and, and then all down through this area, we, we get really strong signals. Um, on the metal detector, it looks like gold. Um, actually, what I think it is, is copper. Um, because I've been finding a ton of green rocks here and green rocks usually indicate copper. And I thought at first they were just mossy. Um, but actually, I, I busted a lot of them open, and uh, they're green right to the center of the rock. So I'm pretty sure we're looking at copper, and that's what's giving us all our signals. Uh, I don't think there's any gold here. I do think there's a lot of copper. And it, then again, it, that if there's copper at the surface, copper rocks could indicate copper deposits lower down. And if there's copper deposits, who knows what's in them. So, you know. We'll, we'll keep prospecting. This is Dave again, and uh, interesting thing we're finding here as we continue to dig in this this hole is this is mostly iron in here, and if you can see that, if I can get it to focus, um, that's actually what we were looking at in the other areas where we found gold. Um, this this blackish and, and reddish iron um, actually it's got little little uh, sort of nodules on it and uh, what that's called a specular hematite and it's actually what the geologists one of the signals that they look for um, for a gold bearing vein is that hematite specular hematite um, I haven't seen anything that looks like that here yet but it is promising that this whole hillside looks like it's quartz veins um, although it's uh, some of it's very, very powdery, which I've not seen before, so we'll keep looking. Hey, this is Dave again. Uh, just wanted to show you this, what we found. Uh, property owners out here doing, doing her laundry. Right by this beautiful waterfall. And this hole here is about four feet deep. And when I stick the metal detector down in here, still don't get great readings. If there was any place that was going to trap gold, 
it would be right there um, and that beautiful little this entire river kind of funnels right down through here and uh, really there's not much there unfortunately so this is Dave again uh, packing up the car getting ready to go sitting here by the side of the road um, you can see we got a great view uh, no noisy neighbors here um, so what did we learn on this trip well the first thing I learned and it's a good lesson for everybody is uh, don't get so excited about one area that uh, um, that you just set up everything and start going uh, I found an area yesterday that had this great gravel bar was given great readings with the metal detector and uh, spot and I'll, I'll call this like from gold rush alaska i'll call this the jack syndrome the glory hole you know i was so convinced that that was going to be a great spot that i just set everything up and we spent the whole day running even though on like the first clean out i saw nothing the second clean out i saw nothing um you know i, I just did not want to give up on that spot and it turned out to be a, a waste of a day pretty much um today we we decided to uh, to just go sample different rocks and we actually did find a big vein in one of the rocks um, I didn't see any gold in it um, I took some samples of the rock I'm gonna send that off to the lab um, I, I have a suspicion that it's copper and I think there's a lot of copper here um, but we'll find that out um, I, I know next to nothing about gold mining and I know even less than nothing about copper mining so um, I also found some stuff that I think might be zinc um, so we'll, we'll get it all tested out we'll find out and uh, the guy who owns the property is curious what's here um, we, we found a lot of what looks like silver maybe platinum I found some smaller nuggets that are silver-ish and uh, they look at like platinum nuggets that I've seen in photos so um, we'll, we'll find out what those are as well, um, but definitely wasn't a wasted trip. Uh, got a heck of a workout the last two days. I'm, I'm exhausted, and now I got a two-hour ride back. I'm an hour on this beautiful road here, um, but uh, well, it's been a great trip. It's, it's been fun to spend time out here. Um, this is this is about as rough as you can get, roughing it. Um, no, uh, no bathroom, just an outhouse. Uh, by solar which is a big step up from the last time I was here when there was no electricity at all um, at least you can like uh, charge a battery here now couldn't even do that before but there's no cell service here um, no phone service at all so if, if anything would happen to you uh, you're pretty much on your own um, you know you better be able to take care of it yourself um, so tomorrow's uh, pretty much the last day here so uh, We'll wrap it up and uh, talk to you tomorrow.